Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be seeing if I can convert the sluice box into a powered sluice and seeing if we can get some gold with it. To start, I'm going to remove the flare chute and replace it with a plastic base that I designed in order to catch the water supply. And as always, the parts I made will be available in the description below. I also design a plastic screen to fit over top of the base, and this will be used to filter out larger rocks from entering the sluice box in order to run bigger gravel. And the last piece made was this hose adapter to help distribute the water. Speaking of hoses, the entire system will be powered using an electric bilge pump, and this will keep the weight down when carrying the setup in. With the setup complete, now it's time to head outside and give it a test. Turning the pump on, the 1100 gallon per hour marine village pump seems to supply enough water to the sluice box. I'll start by moving some smaller material through, and then I'll put the screen on and move some bigger material through to see how the system runs. After observing no issues with the smaller material, I added the screen on top and got ready to move some larger gravel through. However, once I turned it on, I immediately realized that this screen configuration had some issues. The first visible problem being that a lot of the water shoots out the sides and thus reduces our flow rate. And the other issue is that the screen was just too tiny, with smaller pieces of gravel clogging up the filter. But the most important thing to check here is if we were able to create enough of a gravel slurry to actually trap some gold. And so now it was time to clean out the mat. And while it was really hard to see, I did take a quick peek outside and saw a little bit of color in the pan, but I saved the final cleanup for home. And after giving it a couple of careful swirls, it is clear that we were able to trap a little bit of gold, albeit some super, super tiny flower gold. But it was still nice to see the color in the pan. And while a revision is clearly needed to make some improvements, I think I could get this setup to run better in the future. So stay tuned. And with that said, thanks for watching.